Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. These are the headlines we are tracking right now. Four persons have been reportedly killed by suspected headsmen in what looks like renewed attacks on two villages of Miango district of Pasa, local government area of Plateau State. The leadership of Rigwe Nation through the Traditional Council and Development Association has described the resurgence of attacks and killings as callous and barbaric. Amid rising insecurity in various parts of the country, the National Assembly says it is considering a legal framework for the creation of state police and intelligence gathering on the activities of bandits, kidnappers and terrorists. The Senate leader, Kwame Bamdele, who disclosed this when he spoke on behalf of all the recipients of honorary doctorate degrees at the Federal University Oye Kijikiti State, over the weekend revealed the resolve of the National Assembly to develop the legal framework and support local intelligence gathering to tame the tide of banditry, kidnapping and terrorism in the country. The Office of the Auditor General of the Federation has indicated that about 256 ministries, departments and agencies of the federal government for violating excellent laws and spending billions of naira that were not appropriated in 2020. This revelation was made in the latest 2020 audited report of government finances submitted to the National Assembly by the OAUGF after the MDAs, including the Office of the Soviet General of the Federation, Air Force Institute of Technology, among others, reportedly engaged in extra budgetary expenditure amounting to 284 billion naira in 2020. The Nigeria Agricultural Quarantine Service and the Nigeria Oil and Gas Free Zones Authority, both agencies of the federal government, have agreed to collaborate in areas of trade facilitation and to safeguard Nigeria's agricultural economy and exports. During the meeting with partners on Sunday in Abuja, the Acting Comptroller General NAQS Godwin Awudu said the NAQS was committed to promoting trade and protecting Nigeria's agricultural economy while upholding global phytosanitary standards, according to a statement from the agency. On the global scene, the United Kingdom Minister for Business and Trade, Keme Badnoch, has arrived in Nigeria on Sunday on a three-day visit and will continue ongoing efforts by both countries to boost the UK-Nigeria trade relationship and unlock new investment opportunities. This is contained in a statement by Senior Press and Public Affairs Officer, Communications Lead, Prosperity and Economic Development of the British High Commission in Abuja, in Diamaka, Indi Diamaka, Eze. Badnoff's visit comes after the former Foreign Secretary visited Nigeria in August 2023 and last week's UK-Nigeria security and defense talks. U.S. President Joe Biden's 2024 campaign has joined TikTok despite his previous concerns about national security and the ban on the app for federal devices. The TikTok account with the username Biden Harris HQ run by the Biden campaign shared its first TikTok post on Sunday evening coinciding with the Super Bowl featuring President Biden participating in a football-themed question and answer session. As reported by Politico, the Biden campaign's decision to join TikTok reflects president's, the president's efforts to connect with young voters who are an important part of the Democratic Party's base. And on sports, Super Eagles goalkeeper Stanley Wabele has expressed apologies to Nigerian supporters following the team's defeat in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations Afghan final. The Eagles led for most of the game but later surrendered their one-goal lead to host Ivory Coast. Following the game, Wabele said the squad will accept full responsibility for the loss and he described it as a frustrating end. And that's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. See you next time.